Welcome everyone to another Thrifty Tuesday. I'm Brittany, also known as the Nerdy Thrifty Hippie, and um, I wanted to share what I got this last shopping trip to both thrift shops that are on base here. And I spent a total of, of $23.25. So, for all the things I'm going to show you. I'm really, really excited about this. Um, so, I got some, what I think is to be pretty cool stuff. And, yeah. So, hold on. My knife is all twisted. There you go. Alright. The first thing, um, let's just start here. I have these two wall hangings. Oops. There we go. <laughs> Uh, one says dream and the other one says serenity. I got these because our kitchen is like an Asian theme. We have a vase, uh, a tea kettle, uh, a couple decorative plates, our placemats are all Asian themed. Um, and then we have like the dark wood for our table and chairs which match beautifully with it. And so I wanted uh, just a couple more wall hangings to put up with it, and I thought that these fit perfect for that. So there's those. I'm going to set them right here. Uh, the next thing I got is this tub of foam shapes. Um, there's not just the different shapes, there's some actual pieces of foam. So I think whoever donated it or tried to sell it, um, just had extra pieces and they put in it because all the the extra pieces are at the top layer and then all the rest of the shapes so uh, I got that for my daughter and I so we can start crafting and um, do more hands-on learning type of things like how do you tape how do you cut how do you glue all those kind of things uh, I'm also on the the road to becoming a in-home child care provider and I thought this would be great for whoever I watch to also work with. So I got this. It's a pretty big container. It says it's 8 ounces, but like, that's huge. <laughs> so there's that. Uh, speaking of my daughter, I also got her this pair of tennis shoes. They're from Giant Animals, however you pronounce it, the popular kids clothes brand. They're size 6. They look in really good condition, except they're a little bit scuffed in the front, but I think I can actually wash that off. I don't think a whole lot is actually ripped. Um, she does have shoes, granted, but she doesn't have, in my opinion, any true tennis shoes. She has some that look kind of like Vans, or almost like a Converse, but no actual tennis shoes. And she's walking a bunch. We're going to the park at least once a week, if not more. Especially here lately, it's been more. And um, I wanted her to have a good, sturdy shoe. And like this week, it's raining all week. So with this not being cloth like all the rest of her shoes, that helps as well. So there's those. I also got her two movies. One of which I will admit mainly for myself, but I want her to learn to enjoy it. Um, and that's This One Princess. I loved this movie so much growing up. Uh, I loved all of them actually. And it's very colorful, there's definitely some songs in there. So I think she'll enjoy it. And um, yeah, I've never actually seen This One Princess on DVD. To be honest, I've only seen it um, on B8, VHS or what, what's that? I can't think of the name of them, but there's like like record discs, but for movies. Anybody know what I'm talking about? We had a few of those growing up, and that was what the first one was at my parents' house. They still have it, I think, and the other ones are on VHS. VHS. So, um, but this is a special edition, it says, and I'm pretty excited. So, 
is that one. And then my daughter loves Tinkerbell, like loves Tinkerbell. And we do have on DVD, thanks to some friends of ours, um, The Legend of the Never Beast, which is like the latest one. But we've been watching all of them on Netflix. And yes, in September, Netflix is supposed to play all or have all of the Disney movies. But you don't know how long that deal is going to last. So I've been trying to find all the rest of the Tinkerbell movies. And I found the first one. So as soon as I saw it and it wasn't scratched up on the back, I was like, heck yeah, I'm getting it. So I got her that, which I know she loves. So plus that also helps for um, when we don't have internet, like if it's down forever for whatever reason, or when we're traveling, I could pop it in my laptop and have her watch that. So that's awesome. Um, let me see. I think that's it for my daughter. All but one other thing is for me. So the thing that the other thing that's not for me is this Vera Bradley purse. Um, I got it for my sister. She loves blue. She loves Vera Bradley, and um, this is in really really good condition. I only see one thread that's busted, but it's not dirty. It's not worn in any places. Like it's in really good condition. So, um, I don't know if this is, like, one of the old patterns or not. I have no clue. Um, I just know I like two other patterns and that's, that's it. But, uh, I got this for her because she's been having a rough time. So, I'm going to send this to her as kind of like a, here, to make your day better. <laughs> so, there's that. Luckily, she doesn't know about my channel yet. So, she won't see that until she gets it. Uh, next thing. I got all the rest is for me. Uh, I got this uh, roll of twine. I use this a lot um, in my little side business that I have and then for crafting and gardening and things. I like it a lot. It's very very useful. So I got me a spool because it was like 25 cents at the thrift shop and I was like hell yeah. So got that. As I hit the little thing on my chair. Uh, I also picked up a pattern, which was also 50 cents, and I got it because there are two skirts here that I really, really want to make. I want to make this one, and I want to make this one. Possibly this one, or this one, but definitely those two. So, um, I've been wanting to make this one for a while for cosplay, and this one I think will be a very good one. Um, for general wear. So, really excited about that. I also got me a book. I know I'm KonMari and I got stuff. I know. But all these things so far was things I was either already looking for or really sparks joy. And this book has been on my list to get for a long time. Uh, it's the Hungry Girl Diet Cookbook by Lisa Lillian, I think that's how you pronounce her last name. Um, but it's supposed to be a really, really good book. And it has a lot of ideas and, like, it's pretty thick. And I actually read cookbooks. I know that's weird that most people don't, but I actually read them. Because a lot of times there's, like, like, especially for diet ones, they're, like, how you should diet, how you should, um, you know, certain things and yeah, so I'm really excited about that. Then the rest are clothes. <laughs> All for me, too. So, I've been wanting like a kind of like a maxi dress, but I do have a maxi dress already. But I wanted like a short version one, and I definitely wanted one in Jersey. And I found it. Like, I straight up found it. Look at that. I'm really excited for that. So, That'd be fun for like the rest of the summer. Um, can get a little bit dressier if I need it to. And it's black. I know it shows up blue on the screen for some reason, but it's black. So that will work out very well. Um, I also grabbed two workout things. I have a workout thin jacket. 
just one of the those jersey ones that zips up. Nothing too special, but uh, especially in the mornings here, here it's been getting pretty chilly, so I've been wanting a couple more jackets because I don't know, it just grosses me out that I go and sweat like heavily sweat in my workout clothes, and I don't want to rewear them for like the next day when I work out. So yeah, it's that. I guess I could put these on here. And then I grabbed another pair of yoga type pants. Again, so I don't rewear already sweat in clothes because I find that gross. And I've been working out five days a week now, and that should be number five for both of those categories, so should be fine there. Unless I see something I really, really want. Uh, the last thing is a plaid skirt. Especially with me losing weight, um, I've always had a problem when I was heavier that like I couldn't, couldn't wear skirts like this even though I really love plaid skirts. Because um, I always felt like they were too short and that I was just too fat and I don't know. but. I guess self-esteem issues, but um, I tried this one on at the thrift shop. It fits perfectly. I don't have to worry about it being too short. I'm very, very pleased with this, and I can use it for Halloween and different cosplays and all different kinds of things, so I'm really, really excited to have it. Um, that's it for my thrifty shoot Tuesday ugh, today, and I will definitely see you guys next time. Um, sorry there was like a two week break in between the first one and this one. I just didn't go to the thrift shop. I've been super busy, uh, like I said, trying to get my licensing, licensing for the in-home childcare. I've been putting up wall hangings throughout the house. I've been dealing with my daughter who is getting her two year molars. So sleep is not exactly happening right now. Um, I've been dealing with my husband doing like a career change thing for at least a couple years, so we've had to deal with that. Um, I've been going out and meeting people and things like that, so I've been kind of too busy to go to a thrift shop. And here, the two one base are only open for like certain small periods of times, like 10 to 2 or something like that. And yeah. Yeah. But I made it this week. Very pleased that I did. Like I said, I spent $23.25 for all that you saw. Pretty decent amount, in my opinion. Um, very, very shocked by what they had at the thrift, thrift shops. And I'm very happy with that. Very, very happy. So, thank you very much. And until next time. Bye.